what is the difference between explicit versus default routing? Default routing points all destinations to another device. This is very simple and cheap as it requires very low CPU, memory, and bandwidth. It also has no overheads and has very low granularity. Explicit routing points to every known destination. This is also known as the default free zone. This is very complex and expensive as it requires a lot of CPU, memory, and bandwidth. It also has very high overheads and high granularity. A compromise between default and explicit routing is the hybrid routing. This contains the default routing plus some known destinations. This minimizes overheads and also provides useful granularity. Knowledge of filtering is required for implementing hybrid routing. We're now going to talk about egress traffic. When we talk about egress traffic, we mean how do packets leave your network? Egress traffic depends on route availability. This is what others send you. Route acceptance. This is what you accept from others. Policy and tuning. This is what you do with the route from others, as well as your pairing and transit agreements. When we talk about ingress traffic, we mean how packets enter your network. Ingress traffic depends on what information you send and to whom. It's also based on your addressing and your ASS, and it's also based on others' policy. This is what they accept from you and what they do with it. When we talk about autonomous systems, we mean a collection of networks with the same routing policy and single routing protocol. ASS are usually under single ownership, trust, and administrative control. We're going to talk about a few more definitions. When you hear the term neighbors, this simply means ASS which directly exchange routing information, and it can also mean routers which exchange routing information. When we talk about announcements, we mean sending routing information to a neighbor. Accepting a route means receiving and using routing information sent by a neighbor. Originating a route implies inserting routing information into external announcements, usually as a result of IGP. And when we talk about pairs, we usually refer to routers in neighboring ASs or within one AS which exchange routing and policy information. We're now going to talk about routing versus packet flow. As you can see from the screen, you have two different ASs. This is AS1 and AS2. For networks in AS1 and AS2 to communicate, AS1 must first announce to AS2. AS2 must then accept from AS1 for the packet to flow from AS1 to AS2. For packets to flow from AS2 to AS1, AS2 must announce to AS1. AS1 must then accept from AS2 for packets to flow from AS2 to AS1. Routing and traffic flow. Traffic flow is usually in the opposite direction of the flow of routing information. Please remember that filtering outgoing routing information inhibits traffic flow inbound, whereas filtering inbound routing information inhibits traffic flow outbound.